Hello YouTube, Ready Reps House here with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a bunch of clips and talk to you guys and bring you through the process of a sulcata tortoise laying eggs. So how they build the nest, uh, how many eggs can they lay, how many times a year can they lay, when they breed, when do they lay eggs, and how many times or uh, what's the time span between laying clutches. So in this video I'm going to explain to you all of that, show you some clips from previous females laying eggs and other clips that I have. So I'm going to bring that to you guys, so hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. All right guys, so to start off right now, here is my biggest female, Gabs, and she is building a nest at the moment. So what, what does it mean when a tortoise starts to build a nest? So basically before this process, she will either build one, a test nest to just make sure that the area is suitable for her to lay eggs, or she will also, uh, you know, build one nest right away where she knows the soil is great. So uh, tortoises and you know most animals that create nests in the ground can have a they have a sense and they can read the perception of the ground and see if it's moist or not moist so as you can see the dirt when she turned it up it's nice and uh, you know looks damp and moist so that when she does lay the eggs all the way down there uh, she will get a uh, uh, you know a nice good humidity throughout the incubation of the eggs so I'm gonna go hop in the enclosure real quick and I'm gonna explain to you guys what a test nest looks like so right here uh, she built this yesterday before she laid eggs and this is a test nest as you can see it did not work for her because there's a lot of rocks leaves litter and roots growing out so she was not able to make a complete nest here and as you guys can see back there she started building an egg chamber but she realized there's too much roots so she did not like that so there's Gabs right now you know she's building her nest and building the egg chamber and hopefully here and soon we'll get some clips of her laying eggs all right, so while Gabs lays eggs behind me or, you know, continues making her nest, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things. So a female sulcata tortoise, when it is uh, able to breed, the size depends, uh, the size of the tortoise depends on the amount of clutches that she'll give you and the amount of eggs. So Gabs right here, her most eggs that she's given me has been 36 and her least has been about 26. So the average is around in that range. Now a tortoise at this size can lay up to five times a year and most tortoises in general will lay up to five times a year just depending on the species. Uh, but Gabs here, her average last season was three and I have some other females that probably will only lay two times a year just because of their small size so as you can see these females that are right here and over there uh, eventually as they grow uh, they'll get bigger and the amount of eggs that they can hold and the amount of eggs they can lay will also increase so Gabs here like I said gives about 26 to 36 eggs her first clutch of this season she gave me 27 beautiful eggs and uh you know they might not all be fertile that's because it's the first time that she'll lay on the year so like that the whole process re you know establishes itself and she has to obviously get in the rhythm again and you know we never know if goobs my big male uh you know his sperm was completely fertile the first time and as they go you know all the eggs will get more and more fertile so a tortoise can lay up to 30 eggs usually but like I said I've gotten more than 30 eggs and depending on the size they can lay up to five times a year so this tortoise right here which is Gaia she laid twice this season and she has not laid again so I'm pretty sure she's maxed out and then over there we have Daisy who has laid only once and I'm waiting for her to lay again so Gabs this is her second time laying and hopefully she'll lay you know either three times four times five times depending on how uh, you know the process went and how she wants to exceed that Another thing that people need to understand is when a tortoise is going to lay eggs, they will do what is called egg walking and they will basically walk the entire border of the enclosure or any area that they are in and they'll walk the entire edges and edges and edges until they find a very good spot. So Gabs walked this entire area for about a day or two just to kind of feel it out. She stopped right here, did not like that and then she went into that corner where she saw fit to lay her eggs. So right now, like I said, she's making an egg chamber and you know, she's building the nest area. So once she starts depositing the eggs, I should be able to go and catch them individually like that they won't crack from any rocks or she won't crush them and I'll put them in the incubator but you know these tortoises will go around walk around the enclosure and find the right area best for them and that they they, they think that they can ensure the survival of their you know baby tortoises the thing that I want to explain is uh, when a tortoise builds a nest, they also build something called an egg chamber. Egg chamber construction is different for every tortoise species, but here for the sulcata, it basically comes in at a V angle, and then in the middle, it's a pocket which sits there, and like that, when she deposits the eggs, they have this slimy coat around them, and they sit and they fall gently into the egg chamber. I will show some footage here throughout the video of, uh, you know, just a sped up process of me catching tortoise eggs, and then, uh, you know, some tortoises like her laying her eggs, and uh, other videos that I have from previous you know clutches from Gabs, Gaia, Daisy. So that's another thing you guys need to understand is that when tortoises build their nest, they build what is called an egg chamber just so that they can house the eggs. Once they're all filled up and she feels that they're all there, she will go ahead, throw dirt over it, cover it up, 
cover the nest completely, make it seem like there was nothing there, and then she'll move on. So uh, reptiles, most reptiles actually are not the best of parents, uh, and tortoises especially will lay a lot of eggs on purpose to make sure that these babies will survive and that there is uh, you know just enough for them to uh, hatch out and hopefully make it in the in the, the wild. So. Right now, she'll lay her th eggs, I'll catch them, and I'll put them in the incubator just to ensure their survival. All right, guys so in this clip i'm just explaining uh you know just showing you guys some of the eggs that i've already got from the previous clutches this year so once this is all done you know i basically put them all in their egg boxes and as you can see i'm just showing that some of these eggs do go bad over incubation this is a clip from my instagram which you guys can follow me at red reptiles to see more so in the next clip you'll see more tortoises laying eggs and we'll hopefully get gaps to lay some eggs check this out instagram here is one of my females gabs as you can see she laid a bunch of eggs right there i'm not going to be able to catch these as she laid them is because she laid them against the fence and i'll just let her cover it up let her do her thing and then once she's all done i'll go ahead and you know dig up the nest and put the eggs back in the incubator so i just want to share that with you guys it's a cool little clip to show you guys she has a lot of eggs in there and hopefully you know she'll lay again this season so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoy the video mm -hmm. As you guys can see here, we're catching the Sokata tortoise eggs. Uh, not because they're a species of concern or anything, it's just because, you know, we, we want to ensure that our eggs have the best quality and the highest survival rate. So it's pretty much why we're doing these things. Also, it's a good experience. It's good to see that you know, it's a slow process, but we have patience for all of those. Also guys, I don't know if you guys can see the egg chamber right now it looks like it's full of water and that's because a female sulcata tortoise or any tortoise mom actually will urinate and defecate inside the hole just to make sure that the humidity when the eggs go in there is immaculate and perfect for a long-term incubation in the ground now the reason why i don't leave the eggs in the ground here in the state of florida is because we get a lot of rainfall and that is too much water and too much moisture for these tortoises and so when the eggs are in the ground and the water falls through the ground it can drown the embryo and we don't want that so that's why i also take them out of the nest and like that when they do hatch I can you know monitor everybody and make sure everyone survives and all the eggs are good for full-term incubation so like i said she will create this kind of muddy consistency inside the egg chamber just to make sure the tortoises will you know go full term through incubation and she'll leave some extra poop just so that when the tortoises come out of the egg their first meal usually is their mom's poop and that's just to make sure that they have uh you know strong stomach bacteria and strong stomach acids to you know digest other things in the future so that's another cool fact and a nice little cool clip that i'm just giving you guys with this angle all right guys, so I brought out the egg boxes from the incubator and as you can see, Gabs laid the first egg here. So I'm gonna just go grab it out of the nest, out of the egg chamber. The reason I do this, like I said before, is just to make sure that they all hatch and they stay nice and clean and you know, we prevent anything from cracking. And obviously here in Florida, we cannot have the eggs in the ground just because of the humidity. So once I take them out of the egg chamber, I place them nice and gently at the same orientation that they were laid because if I flip them around, the embryo could potentially drown in the future. But as you can see, I place it nice and gently inside the egg box and then I line them all up. And then once one box is filled, we'll open up another one if we need be. And the same process continues once they go inside the incubator. All right, guys, so here's the process so far. We've had a couple of eggs laid at the moment so hopefully i'll fill this up a little bit more then we move on to the next box so she's continuing to drop the eggs as you can see there's a slimy consistency with my fingers and that they're laid across the eggs if you guys can tell that's because when she lays them i don't know if you can tell right there there's that slime coat and just, just ensures that the eggs fall at a very nice and gentle pace like that they won't crack or you know you're not being thrown down in the ground completely so that's just the reason why they have that slime coat so so far we have three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen eggs uh, I usually fit about 15 eggs in each box, so that's a, a good uh, number. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll need more boxes. You know, she has laid massive clutches before, but uh, 
I'll just uh, go as I as I need to, and if anything, I'll just stack eggs on top of each other, and hopefully, you know, place them in another box. But as you can see, she just laid another egg. All right, guys. So Gab's laid 31 beautiful eggs right here, and uh, here's the second box, and here is the first box. So these eggs right now will not know if they are fertile until a couple of days, just to make sure the embryo would adhere to the top of the egg. Once that process is done, I will candle them and then make sure they have veins and an embryo, obviously as well. So these eggs are nice and clean because I'm catching them, not letting them get dirty or muddy. And as you can see, she made a beautiful nest, and she is about to start uh, feeling out the if their eggs are in there. And obviously, I you know I touch her just to mimic that there are eggs and then she'll cover it up and like nothing happens so here's the entire process and it's just cool to see so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video subscribe rate comment likes and see my fellow herpers make sure to follow me on instagram at ready reptiles and support me and comment down below thanks for watching